So we're just sitting on the edge of the beach with our bags packed. Yeah. Waiting for someone. Waiting for a mate. That someone is someone in a boat and he's going to take us over to an island called Rocco Island. So we're going over there for two days. This should be pretty exciting. We booked this uh, a couple of weeks ago or about a week and a bit ago. Yeah. Um, we got all the families that we're traveling with going over at the same time. Yeah, we've just parked the caravan and car up out the front. They, uh, they're pretty cool here to store caravans and whatnot. So they'll stay out there for the next two days while we're over uh, enjoying ourselves on an island. Do you know it's funny? I just thought about it. It's considered part of the Torres Strait Islands. Mm. And so we're technically going overseas during COVID. <laughs> technically. So I'm just looking out over the water there now. There's a boat turning up. Yeah. See him up there in the distance. Jack's a little whingy this morning. <coughs> he's smashing bananas like he's never has before. It's going through. I'm like, can you just sit? No, I want you to sit. <laughs> no, he's not the boat. Quick, go now. I've got five liters of water in my backpack. <laughs> so the first boat load's going over, and then he's going to come back and pick up the rest of us boys. So. He said the second lot will uh, throw some lures out the back and go for a bit of a trawl and hopefully catch some fresh fish for tonight, which would be unreal. How good is this? And we're here, Rocco Island, baby. This place is unreal so far. Can't wait to show you around. Cool. We're in the glamping tents or the eco tents they call them down the very end here. There's only two of them. And we're basically the only what was to say customers on the island, so we've got both of them to ourselves. So I've got to find out which one I'm staying in. Sunscreen all over me. <laughs> Holy. It's the best. Trust me, Dad. Look at all the hammocks. <laughs> <laughs> Beds everywhere. <Come> <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Yeah, I'm about to try and put him to sleep. Yeah. And then everyone rocked up. <laughs> yeah. I had screaming children going, Whoa! I was like, oh, I'll just wait. You want to come join me? You reckon it'll hold my fat ass? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'll hold the GoPro. This, this is gonna be footage. funny. Come on. Yeah, this will be bloody hilarious. Let's go, babe. Is this still recording? Yeah. Yep. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm hanging on. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. How are the ropes wait, you reinforced? Gotta, you gotta wait till you got the good swing and then get in that bit. Oh god. Yeah, go. <laughs> oh, wow. if you can hear this can rope hear the stretching. Let me make it swing. Yeah. We got the oh, oh, oh the shit. tree's gonna fall down. Get the shot. <laughs> Freaky! Get out quick! <laughs> it's like just scraping the ground. <laughs> I can feel it on my ass. <laughs> At least while we're there, we got to kick. Oh, it's on my arm. Oh, we're falling. It's getting lower. Never get out here without breaking it. <laughs> Coconut. Open up. Hey, yeah, good. Perfect. 
What do you reckon? Fresh coconut drifter. He had some. Is it good? Yes. <laughs> you need like a straw, hey? Yeah, yeah that's what like, I said and dip it out yeah. the Do you want to let Dad try it? What are you eating? Coconut. I think he's eating the homemade biscuits. Is that what it is? I'm going to wash it down now. Yeah. Go, go, go. Mmm. Good. That's so good. Drink it all. Amazing. Rest is for you, Dan. Never could have been thinking I would know what the future bring. All the highs and lows said I'm gonna win, though the world might spin. Now I'm sitting here like I'm no one. over here yeah and then there's the stone jetty and there's graves down there oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> just a little bit of wind yeah. that's funny Just a much bigger one. A far bigger one, yeah. Yeah, he's huge. He won't move now that I'm GoProing him. Yeah, the ones that scoot around. Yeah, like, they kind of flip her along. Yeah. There he goes. Yeah, yeah they're huge. funny. Have you, did you see them? They're like fishes. Yeah, they're like a lizard looking fish thing. 
looks like a baby shark. Look there, there, there. That looks Where? like a baby shark. Oh, it's a rooftop. Uh, what is it? Black a tip rooftop? Black tip is rooftop. Black tip rooftop. Is there a rooftop camper? It's a black tip rooftop. I didn't see it. Yeah, he's only a baby. Are we near the up. end? Oh, yeah. Here you go. Oh, we can keep walking on low tide. Yeah, but I feel a bit exposed out here to crocs. That'll be a really good shot, just out of there, just standing here. How cool yeah, is this? Yeah. They're a big, they look like a cat. All right, I'm going to scoot back the other way. Looks good. What do you got? I don't know. Rice, paper, kale things. I Fish think. and salad. Mm. Cheers, bud. We're off on a fishing charter at the top of Australia. This, I hope to God, is one of the best charters we could go on. I've been on two charters in my life and I have caught absolute FA. Well, nothing to be uh, proud about, anyway. I think I caught one fish and it was like this big. So, third time lucky, I am uh, hanging out. We had uh, one of the boys go out yesterday and he caught some massive fish so there's a bit of tuna, mackerel, um, I don't know what the other one was but they were decent sized fish. If I can jack one of those, I'll be a bloody happy man I'll tell ya. So we got the boys, me, Nathan, Paul and we got Zalia coming out today so whew, pumped about this. We're going to be out for about four or five hours depending on the weather um, and just yeah, see what happens. Dad, I caught two fish already a blue bone. Blue bone? Yeah, yeah. Bloody hell. Oh, 
a tuna. Holy hell, Paulie. Holy hell, Paulie. Yeah. Decent too. Got him. Got him. Oh, God. Holy yes! Oh, Zoe! Oh, fish of the day! <laughs> Good girl! Oh. Flesh is still good. I'm glad we come in when we did. Yeah, nice. No. Just, you know. Just perfect. The fish is just perfect to eat. It wouldn't even fit in this. Catching live fish today. Yeah. Successful day out on the water. Primo. Here he comes. Oh, that was up a here. big one. He's a big one. Oh, it's four of them. Oh! oh. That's fun. Right, three, two, one, go. I'm gonna go scuba diving there. Oh, oh, fish. 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 Oh. Oh. fish. Hey! Hey! Oh. 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 Yeah, I'm putting all the juice Yeah, in. look at them. They're coming in nice and close. Ready? Ready? up day and home day. Had a absolute epic two days here at uh, Rocco Island. It's, um, all good things must come to an end unfortunately. But yeah. How's your stay been babe? I reckon this is the best place ever. It is really cool. Yeah. If you're coming up this way and you don't come to Rocco Island, you're crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you get the opportunity to come up, like it's actually pretty affordable for what we yeah. were expecting. 
when we got told that um, we could come over here and stay, it was like, ooh, I can only imagine how much it would cost, but once you so, did all the uh, mass and everything and worked it out. There's 11 of us here. Yeah. Um, if you take Jack out of the mix, because basically he doesn't do anything, um, it works out about $270 per person for two nights. That includes your accommodation, it includes um, your transfers, and it includes every bit of food. So mm. the only thing you pay for extra is your drinks. Alcohol. Apart from that, yeah, it's everything's two hundred seventy bucks, like one hundred and forty. What's that? One hundred thirty-five dollars a day it's, to have everything done. Yeah, it's actually That's really really cool. cool when you think what you spend if you eat out every day. Yeah, but, on your own private island, you yeah. got some of the best guys here to take you out on fishing charters. They yeah. do awesome food and just the the views and the scenic sort of surroundings is just next level mm. it is so beautiful out here some fun facts um you can bring 240 charges and charge in the glamping tents yeah um it's all run on solar power there's drinking water here uh they purify it all themselves it goes mm. through a full uv treatment and that um they've got a little bar area they, you can go fish on the jetty. There's also a stone jetty, which you would have seen in our footage earlier. So they've got two jetties. They've got a really nice viewing point to see sunrise and sunset always happens where the jetty is. It's just... So you don't, you don't uh, miss out on any sunrise and sunsets. It's really but cool. It literally just has everything. It yeah, really ticks cool. so many boxes. So if you're definitely up here, come over, check it out. Even if it's just for one night, like yeah. just to understand one how cool it enough, is. Though. It's definitely not, en not enough. I reckon you need to do at least two. Yeah, two two at least minimum. Yeah. And you could stay here for like at least easier a yeah. week. It's, yeah, it's, really it's cool. beautiful. Like we could have happily stayed another night or two, to be mm. honest. Yeah, But we're time. running out of nappies and running out of things that we need. We so only packed for two, so. And they're booked out, so. Yeah, yeah they're actually yeah. quite busy with mm. uh, people coming in and out all the time so it's a it's quite a popular little uh, island but um yeah get in early book it early mm. and uh, if you get all the way to Pantan it's worth it yeah it's literally it's just around the corner it's only a half an hour boat ride so not even 20 minutes well 20 minutes yeah it's like close so enough. close but yeah it's really cool yeah all right all right we're gonna we're have for our final brekkie yeah final brekkie cook up and uh we'll get all our gear together and throw it on the boat and go back to Pantan and pick yeah. up our house and car <laughs> we're heading to loyalty beach next yeah so just slightly south of where we are we're going to be hanging around here for probably another two three four days sort of thing yeah and then we'll slowly make our way down south again and do yep. pretty much the same trip but uh it'll still be exciting because we're staying in different locations this time yeah we've got lots of different ones to see on the way back so yeah. that'll be good mix it up a bit so mm. yeah cape york you've been amazing <laughs> now we can back leaving time we're just trying to decide who goes on which boat because the boat can take six people at a time and um yeah it, it's like whether you break up the families and send the men to do the caravans or how to make it work but then jack is jada he's coming with us oh, okay yeah so it's like whether all the men go to sort out the caravans or if we go per family and just get there when we get there but Jack's at the tired point. Oh, I've lost his dummy. Babe, have you seen Jack's dummy? Oh, that's really good. That could have been so bad. Daddy. Home time. Yeah. Which boat are we going in? Apparently it was the big one. Are you sad to be leaving? I am. Yeah. <laughs> I could stay here forever. Yeah. I really want to stay here till next boat. Yeah, I know. While we're at the tip, we see some of the most amazing sunsets. We explore local beaches and stay in what we think is the best free camp in Australia. Chris tries his luck drone fishing and we get back on some cool drive tracks where we end up in quite a pickle. We even experience a bushfire up close. Then on the way back down, we stop in through Twin and Elliot Falls for a swim in the best waterfalls the tip has to offer. 